everything. Um, I'm going to make the assumption that you've kind of been able to sign up for an account through uh, c9.io. And we're going to continue from there. All you need is a GitHub or something like that, or you can enter it in. Pretty straightforward. But once you're at this screen, uh, we're going to create a new workplace. Give it a workspace name. Uh, we'll call this uh, backend underscore YouTube uh, underscore version. And then this description, we'll put whatever backend FCC cert uh, YouTube version. This is just for me to know which one's which because um, I obviously do these before I go and record it. We're going to create a blank one, so make sure you select blank. And let me go ahead and pull this off to the side over here. So it's going to take just a second to load. Don't, uh, don't worry about that. So let's follow uh, what it's asking us to do. So first we have to install something called how to NPM. This is basically our first package as far as I understand. I'm still new to this. Um, I'll uh, explain it the best I can as we move forward. So we're gonna install the how to NPM package. To do that we're gonna do NPM install. This dash G means global, meaning the how to NPM package is gonna be accessible anywhere. So we don't have to keep on installing it. That's that's my basic understanding of it. So how to dash npm and give it a second. So now we have installed this on our server and now we'll have access to it. How do we run it? So next we want to run it, right? How do we do that? We simply call that that um, that command how to npm or that file and we'll get this environment here. Pretty cool so far. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull this up, uh, exit out of this readme, we don't actually need it at this time. We can close this pane as well. All right, um, so we want to uh, start with install npm. Oops, it's being a little weird right now. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. It looks like it's uh, going a little crazy right now. Just as zoomed in. So something's going a little weird on here on the uh, how to NPM. So we need to we need to go to install NPM. That's where we're gonna start basically. Sorry, it got a little buggy there. I'm not quite sure what was going on here. So actually we'll just throw that up here. I'm gonna exit out that, exit that out. Alright, we just want the one page. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to um, get a couple commands. We have this npm help, and uh, we'll show npm how we have print, verify, and solution. So if we were to wanted to remember what the instructions were for what, oops, for um, for uh, what we're doing, we'd simply call the file how to npm, or call the package, and then uh, hit print, and it would give us our instructions again one more time. This basically tells us to exercise instructions how dash two dash npm uh, verify will actually give us our will tell us like did we do is are we correct already and so your solution is not correct and it looks like it will also give us some hints on how to proceed so this let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit uh it says right now that we have the we have version 2.15.9 and we need 4.0 Point two to continue to do that. So we're going to use the command npm install npm dash g. So it looks like uh, what we can take from this is that uh, this global is going to be used quite a bit and this npm is kind of the precursor to doing a lot of this stuff. So this will take just a second to install. So we're going to upgrade our version right now to the latest version. All right, there it goes. And now when we do NP, uh, when we do how dash two dash NPM, well, oops, let's go back. So how dash two dash NPM verify. It's saying we have the most, and bam, our solution is correct. So we have to run that real quick. And we'll see now when we run how to NPM, we now have completed for that task. 
So the next video we'll dive into dev environment. I'm going to try and do one video per each one of these sections just because I think it's important to kind of break it down piece by piece. But as always guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. A special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. It means the world to me that you support my channel like that. And uh, as always, I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.